Guys, what I wanted to talk about today is a few books that I think that each of you should check out. I think that these are some books that can be a great benefit to everyone. Uh, these books are a list of some of my favorite survivalist books. If any of you guys have read the article that I did at BoomstickTactical.com on my website, I will link it below in the description. Uh, go check that out. Towards the end of the video, I am actually going to have an addition to that list if you read the article. The first book that we want to talk about for a survivalist book is one that a lot of people don't really think of as a survivalist book. But it is one that gives us a lot of examples uh, that we need to follow. It shows us some mistakes that others have made. Uh, anytime that we want to avoid making mistakes ourselves, the best thing that we can do is study the mistakes of others. And the number one choice for the most important survival book that everyone should have is going to be a Bible. The Bible is the most popular book in the history of the world and there's many reasons for that. The Bible contains the struggles of God's people throughout the centuries. It gives us examples of them surviving during some of the harshest times in world history. And it is one that each of us needed to spend time studying. Learn from the mistakes that the people in ancient Israel made as well as the people surrounding them, the mistakes that they made. And it can help benefit us in our lives, in virtually any situation that we would find ourselves in. It's full of encouragement and if we are ever in a situation to where we're trying to survive some harsh conditions, we're going to need some encouragement. That's the kind of thing that you can find in the Bible. It is the most important book ever written and it's one that we should all have and we should all study. The Bible is the only book on this list that I've got ranked as number one. The rest of these books are all favorites of mine, but they're in no particular order. However, the next one that I want to talk about is going to be one that has kind of become a prepper survival book. Uh, it is, of course, Surviving the Economic Collapse. What this book is, it is a basically a chronicle of the author's experience during the economic collapse of Argentina back in the early 2000s. He gives a lot of examples about how the system fails uh, and what happened. Uh, a lot of the perception that people have during survival situations uh, is going to be shattered when you read this book. You know, there are what people believe happens during a very serious scenario, and then there's the reality of what actually happens. And this book chronicles what goes wrong. This book shows you the failures and a lot of the thought among a lot in the prepper and survivalist community because I mean it is literally this man lived it. Uh, you know the best way to learn something is to simply listen to someone who has been through an experience and they are going to be the best guide for showing us how to get through that experience as well. This book is one that is extremely, extremely valuable in a survivalist or prepper situation. It gives you a great understanding for what you're going to be coming up against. Members of the Special Forces have some of the best training in the world. Uh, members of the Navy SEALs, there's a lot of things that they go through that can be very beneficial to the average survivalist, the average prepper. Clint Emerson is one that has kind of become known as a former Navy SEAL that has kind of moved into the preparedness, the prepper community. He has got two books out right here, the 100 Deadly Skills series. These books both are great. They're also just kind of a lot of fun to read. They're filled with illustrations showing you some of the basic techniques that have been modified from the Special Forces to fit into the average person's life. Uh, there is illustrations throughout the books that show you how to avoid certain situations, which is a big thing. If you can avoid getting into a bad situation, then that's going to be your best option. It also shows you how to build a kit, a preparedness kit. These books also talk about things that you may encounter along the way 
the illustrations are great they're real helpful uh, kind of gives you a better picture of what the author is trying to say throughout the book the SAS survival guide is another book that is very popular among preppers and survivalists this book gives you a lot of detailed information on how to build shelters out in the wilderness it talks about making tools that you're going to need to survive if you have limited resources it talks about how to scout around and find some of the resources that you need to sustain yourself in a wilderness environment. It's a great little book. I got the pocket sized edition that way you can kind of throw it in a backpack and typically this does stay in one of my bags. Uh, you know, I, it, it contains a lot of things that you just may need to know. Also, it'll give you a little something extra to read if you do spend a night in the woods. You know, you can read through something like this to kind of get your mind off of uh, the situation that you may be in. Something that a lot of people don't take enough time to consider is what would happen if you cannot get to a doctor. Uh, imagine that you are in a situation where the hospitals are closed, the clinics are closed, and you cannot get anywhere to get medical help. For you, for a family member, what would you do then? There is a manual out there, the Survival Medicine Handbook is a very good book written by medical professionals that gives you some basic understanding of first aid, it talks about supplies, it talks about a lot of things not just related to medicine. It tries to get you into the mindset of surviving, of recognizing that you're in a situation that only you can get yourself out of. That's a lot of how this book starts out and then it goes further into necessary medical skills that you may need. Now the book was not written for someone who is a medical professional. It is written for someone who is uh, just the average person. Someone who's in the medical profession, probably not going to get a lot of value out of this book, maybe some, but it is a great tool for the average person. Uh, this book is uh, talks about how to assemble a medical kit uh, and just a lot of great advice. Uh, it covers even dental. You know, you think about it. If you were out somewhere, if something were to hit you in the face, say you were in the woods or somewhere, if something happened and you had an injury to a tooth, what would you do? Do you have the skills, do you have the supplies necessary to be able to take care of that problem? You know, this book does cover stuff like that. It covers a lot of other things that you may run into. It talks about uh, treatments for things that, uh, say, if you cannot get to a pharmacist to get a traditional medicine, it talks a little bit about some alternative choices that may help you in certain situations depending on what that illness is. A very important point on Survival Medicine Handbook, it's still a very good idea that you get some kind of medical training. It's a real good idea for everyone to take a basic first aid class to get some kind of an understanding of the steps involved in taking care of someone in a critical situation. Uh, you know, there again, if you call 911 and they're not there, you only have yourself to rely on. Get some training before you get into that situation. Another great book is going to be Strategic Relocation. This book has been out for a while, but it is a wealth of information when it comes down to trying to understand your environment. Depending on where you are in the United States, there's a lot of things that are going to play into your survival in a desperate situation. Uh, resources, a lot of the political environment for your particular area, say if you live somewhere where you are restricted on the types of firearms that you could own or even uh, you know the type of ammunition and just a lot of other restrictions that we all know about. This book talks a little bit about that. It talks about some of the critical points for each region of the country. It talks about how during, say, if we were at war, that a particular area may be more prone to an attack from a foreign power than another. There's a lot in this book that talks about the areas that you live in, that you're thinking about moving to, and things that you need to consider before you actually take those steps. It's also going to help you to decide on the type of emergency supplies that you may need as far as how much traffic there is, 
uh, supplies, you know, grocery stores, that sort of thing. It can be a real useful tool in building your system of survival. As I mentioned at the first of this video, there was an addition. And this is one that I have actually owned for a while, but originally I did not include it in the article, but I do believe it to be an important book. And after going back and looking at it a little closer, reading through it just a little bit, scanning through some of the pages, and I decided to add it to the list. That book is The Ultimate Sniper. Uh, this book is more than just about guns, although it does have a wealth of information about different firearms for long range shooting. It talks about scopes uh, and a lot of other things that are very important. Some of the things the book talks about besides that includes uh, considerations in an urban environment. It also talks about stealth. That's a big part of uh, being a sniper. Uh, for those of you guys that are in the military, uh, for those of any of you who may have been a sniper in the military, that is a critical thing. If you're in a situation where you need to be avoiding crowds, you need to be avoiding other people, then the techniques that are shown in this book can be a very big benefit not just for you to go out if you know and play offense if you were trying to engage a target but basically evading getting yourself into a situation that you don't need to be in the book gives you a lot of considerations for supplies it talks about the way that a particular mission can influence the supplies that you may need for that mission and it, again it's just a complete wealth of information guys these are just a few of my favorite books that I really believe everyone should take the time to read to study and it's important that you take the time to learn the skills you need prior to getting in that situation you need to know first aid before you try to treat someone who is injured you need to know some of the basic techniques of surviving in the wilderness before you're in a situation to where you're forced to. You need to have the skills necessary to keep yourself and your family safe before those situations happen. You can find links to all of these books down in the description below. Let me hear from you guys. What are some of the books that you would add to this list? Do you own any of these books and what do you think of them? Let me know down in the comments below. Be sure to check out the links in the description. Be sure to check out the t-shirts and other items available down on the merch shelf in YouTube. It's a great way to help support the channel. Guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time.